Greetings from Louisville, Kentucky. In today's video, we're going to experience thunder over Louisville, the air show, and the largest fireworks display in the United States. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. So, we arrived in Louisville, and I stopped by my cousin Juan's to drop off my mom, she's staying with him, and to say hello, you know, hang out for a little bit. Then I continued, going across the Ohio River, towards the Indiana side. I am staying at the Louisville North Campground, which is a prime location to experience what locals here simply refer to as thunder. Very few times have I seen a busier campground, especially this one in which the sites are pretty tight to begin with. This weekend, of course, they have special higher rates and tomorrow they will have enhanced security during what has to be one of the most popular events of the year here in Louisville. Thunder, by the way, is an air show and a fireworks display and it marks the beginning of all the activities that lead up to the famous Kentucky Derby. I head out to try and scout a good location to watch the event. Well, there's the famous Colgate clock. I was trying to look for a place to do my live a video of every Friday, but everything is blocked off. I might come walking, maybe. I return and then go back again by foot to do my customary Friday live video. Downtown Louisville. It is a beautiful afternoon here in Clarksville, Indiana, on the northern bank of the Ohio River. Everybody, smile for the camera. Yep, that's my phone broadcasting live to YouTube. Yeah, it is magic hour for sure. The Victorian Looking Home is a famous ice cream shop here, and there's of course the Colgate Clock, one of the largest in the world, dating back to 1924, as I begin to head back to the campground here before it gets too dark. They've already cordoned off some of the spots where people might want to park, and this here almost looks like a makeshift RV park. Maybe next time I'll figure out a way to camp here instead. It is a lot closer, and I could probably see the show from my rooftop. Well, anyways, here we are. The calm before the storm, or the thunder, rather. And that's the same train that goes just a few feet behind my campsite. Fun fact, oddly enough, Clarksville, Indiana here is the birthplace of the Texas Roadhouse restaurant chain. And back at the campground we are. Let's try and get some sleep. Well, good morning. Uh, it's about 12 noon here and I'm gonna uh, walk around a little bit, get a lay of the land back there. They're charging $15 per car and $100 per RV, you know, to park to see the, the thunder over Louisville, which starts in about three hours, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm camping relatively close, so I'm going to, to see what's going on. It's definitely early. There's activity around, but... As I said, I decided to come a little early. 
walk around a little bit, uh, get a better idea of what to expect in the next few hours. As you get closer, the prices go up. Well, here we are, this is the park where I came to last night for sunset. Well, yeah, it looks like everybody is getting ready for the show. A very carnivalesque, uh, festive atmosphere, as you can see, all kinds of vendors in this area. Here in this area, we also have the Falls of the Ohio State Park. Maybe we'll pass by later. By the way, perfect weather today for thunder. And this is such a perfect location, with the view of downtown across the river. I'm going to walk a little further towards neighboring Jeffersonville uh, to see what it is like. See, it looks like my best bet is going to be Clarksville. That's everything here. On the Jeffersonville side, it seems to be fenced off, you know, private property. Which is fine, if I had a private property on this side of the of the river, I would rent it out too. I wonder how much a room at the Sheraton is worth today. <laughs> For a lot of money. Well, right here under the bridge seems to be another prime location. Well, at least now I know what to expect. And we have some crowds forming also on the other side of the river, on the Kentucky side. Uh, downtown Louisville, which is supposed to be the more crowded side. And uh, here, people are slowly coming in, you know, trickling. Uh, it is going to be so much fun. Planes. For now, I'm just gonna go back to the campground and return later. Just a little busier than this morning. And up we go. Well, yes, yeah, I return in the afternoon. The crowds are noticeably larger. It looks like they're gonna have a cookout here. <laughs> All right, almost there. During the day, of course, they are going to have an air show here, which lasts pretty much all afternoon, and it looks like they are getting ready to start. Certainly a lot more people than this morning. Check out the crowds on the other side. On this side, though, it's pretty chill in comparison. And it has begun! And that's not a shooting star, that's a skydiver. And the shoot opens up. Then he deploys all the glory as he descends onto the Kentucky bank of the Ohio River. Such a cool beginning to the show. Next, uh, we've got a group of skydivers here, not any skydivers, the elite parachute team called the US Army Golden Knights. I guess they are all landing at the same spot across the river. Here we've got some F-16s flying by. They fly so fast that it is hard to capture them with the camera. And what have we got here? 
a C-130 Hercules, the longest continuously produced military aircraft ever, over 60 years and counting. Next, we've got aerobatics pilot Billy Worth, and this is something I had actually never seen in person before. It's amazing to see. Amazing how he can stall the plane and then regain control. It almost looks easy. here and that's that's a b-52 strato fortress which have been in service since 1955 seeing it in the air in person is actually quite a sight more and more people showing up and here it comes for another flyby oh boy would you look at that beauty Although its nickname is actually Buff, Big Ugly Fat, well, you figure out the last F, a flying machine perhaps? Here they come, a flight formation team. Now there is some skill, flying in formation like that. Can you believe I had never been to an air show before? I'm finding this quite fascinating. It's a pretty cool move too. It's a heart, a broken heart, no less. Okay, that was cute. 
I'm going to walk a little bit here towards Jeffersonville. I am getting tired of standing in one place. And I'll be honest, I was expecting it to be a lot more crowded than this, judging by the words of warning received from family and from viewers. I was expecting to be shoulder to shoulder with thousands of people being barely able to move, but this is actually not too bad. The other side, however, might be a different story, but it's, it's hard to tell from here. Prime location. Here, under the bridge, seems to be a pretty good spot, too. There seems to be a street performer here. Let's see what this is all about. Well, we can't really see. And here they have some kind of hula hoop competition. Pretty cool. Everybody seems to be having such a great time. Hmm, front row sitting. My cousin Juan recommended I check out this street here in Jeffersonville called Spring Street. Apparently there are a few bars and restaurants, so let's check it out. Apparently this here is a historic neighborhood called Rose Hill. There's the Big Four pedestrian bridge and the police boat battling the strong current, guarding the river. I've got to walk on that bridge one of these days. And what have we got here? Another fighter plane. Okay, his camera is just a tad larger than mine. I wonder, where is it? You know, sometimes these small planes are hard to see. There it is. By the way, this Rose Hill, pretty neighborhood. I continue, walking east, and the show goes on on this beautiful afternoon. I mean, it is perfect weather, but it is kind of warm in the sun, and I've walked a lot. You know what? I could use a good IPA right now. Decided to take a stroll in downtown Jeffersonville here, on Spring Street. Yeah, we're pretty close to the river. They have a bunch of shops here, uh, but this is what I'm talking about. Yes, a refreshing cold IPA here at the bar. And I'm not even missing the show. Thunder is being broadcast on TV. Actually, this is almost better. The machine is very nice. When I came in, the bar was completely empty. And now it's uh, even full outside. Feeling refreshed. I am actually going to return to the campground to take a break, you know, and then return for the fireworks show. This here is Warder Park with a 10 foot tall Thomas Jefferson statue. And you don't really need to be by the river to watch the air show as I slowly make my way back to the campground. Um, whoa. 
walking through this shady looking street. Let's see what happens. And I'm almost back at the campground. Actually, you can clearly see the planes from the campground, so this is pretty cool here. I'm still gonna go back later to the river, you know, to see the fireworks show, which is the main event. style fried garbanzos kind of yep i decided to cook me some dinner before going back to the river and we got to have that cuban coffee it's almost time Going back one last time to the river just so I can. Uh, the fireworks, the main thing. Well, the air show has been going on for hours. And at some point, you get airplane overload, I guess. It's a little too much. But the day is coming to an end. Well, according to my Fitbit, I've walked over 10 miles today and uh, almost 22,000 steps. They've got live music at the ice cream shop, the Victorian looking house. Quite the party, let me tell you. I think I am going to walk a little bit here to the falls of the Ohio State Park while I wait for the beginning of the fireworks. I just can't get enough of this view. Unfortunately, there's quite a bit of trash down here. And hey, what can I say? Fly, duck, fly! <laughs> or was that a goose? Oh, I don't know. Anyways, here we are, the falls of the Ohio State Park.
let me go back to my preferred spot to watch the fireworks. It is almost night time. Look at that, a constellation of skydivers. And the chemtrails? They look so cool, illuminated here at twilight. Fireworks are going to start any minute now. Oh wow, check that out. <laughs> it is actually quite emotional to see the flag flying in the middle of the sky, illuminated from the ground. Well, here we go. This year the theme was uh, disco music which may have been a poor choice, probably, but it's still a great show. Besides, from my location, the music was coming from someone's radio, sometimes even cutting off, so not the greatest audio experience. And that's in part why I have replaced the music with my own. Also because, you know, copyright, you never know. Another thing with the fireworks is that video seldom does them justice. The fireworks show seems to go on forever. Definitely it is a spectacle to be witnessed in person. that out. And the best uh, effects uh, seem to be coming from the second street bridge here. And then on, on either side there are identical firework displays, you know, like mirror images.
And now for the grand finale. Stampede. Everybody rush into their car. Awesome. Oh, that was really cool. Yeah. This gotta be some kind of record here. 27 uh, over 27,000 steps and I walked 12.68 miles <sighs> good night if you have enjoyed traveling with us and make sure you are subscribed and check out my other videos also share it with your friends spread the word and leave me a comment now if you really really liked it you have a chance to show your support at patreon.com slash traveling robert as always thank you so much for watching and see you on the road <laughs>